Hello everybody and welcome to another follow along yoga video. This one is going to be fantastic. It's going to be fresh. We're going to start with our extremities, our wrists and ankles and then move toward our spine and hips and there's going to be a good amount of strength work and you're going to probably end up end this session feeling fucking fantastic. So I hope you enjoy this and if you're not familiar with who I am, my name is Antranik and I make health and fitness and yoga videos all the time. So if you're not subscribed, please do so now and hit the little bell button so that you get notifications every time I make a new video. All right, and now we begin. All you need is a mat. You don't need anything else. And I'm just going to start like this and you can join me. All right, ready? Let's do it. Let's begin with our wrists. Let's put our forearms together. So our elbows and forearms are together. Interlace the fingers and then just move your wrists in a circle. This is a nice little wrist warm up we're going to do right now. This gets the joints moving. Switch directions. Good. Now we're going to do what's, what's known as the teacup exercise. So put your palms up and imagine that you're holding a teacup and your goal is to not spill the tea. Okay? So, or the water, right? So start like this. Uh, you're going to change light bulbs, right? And let's turn the arms in and down like so. This is a little hard to explain, but just... You can't really you can't really mess this up. All right? Just do your best to not spill the tea. You're rotating and keeping the palms up and your elbows have to compensate and your shoulders need to move around so that your palms stay up. Now let's switch directions. I think this is common more in martial arts. There's probably a lot of different different uh, things that use this. Nice. All right. Now we're going to get on hands and knees and we're going to do cat cow, but with our hands backwards. So set your fingers to face your knees okay and this is quite a stretch already and we're going to begin with cat cow by simply uh, sticking our butt out looking up and rounding our back exhaling as you round your back inhale as you arch your back stick your butt out look up exhale as you round your back tuck your tailbone and maybe look at your belly button. Inhale as you arch your back, look up, stick your butt out, try to do it more. And then round your back, really tuck those that tailbone. Maybe squeeze the glutes, look at the belly button. And then inhale as you arch up. Good. Now let's release that and put our palms facing up with our fingers facing our knees again and just curl the fingers so you're making a little fist and then straightening the hands making a fist and then straightening the hands curling the fingers this is a nice little wrist stretch as well Very nice. Now, let's get on our heels, just like so. So I'm just sitting on my heels and we're gonna stretch our ankles, okay? So it's very simple. We're just gonna raise the left knee up and down. Right knee up and down. Just keep alternating like this. Just stretching the tops of our ankles. 
Okay, now let's do it with both knees up together. You can use your fingers to help you. And when I press the knees up, you're gonna round your back. There's gonna be a lot of forward bending and back bending. So right now we're gonna do a forward bend, ra raise the knees up and bring the head toward the knees. And back down. One more time. One more time. Good. All right, now from here, we're gonna do eagle arms. Eagle arms are like so. You're gonna put the left arm under the right arm and then cross it over. So you, your left hand grabs the back of your right arm. So this is eagle arms position. And from here, come upright on you. Come upright, walk a little back on your mat and bring your right foot forward into a lunge. Okay? Now, while in this eagle arms and lunge position, we're going to simply forward bend. Try, try to go all the way down and back bend. When you back bend, you're going to look up and backwards and forward bend, exhaling, inhale. Now when you come up and backwards, you can even pull, pull the elbows up. So the hands go up and over your forehead. Forward bend, try to bring the arms down to the ground, rounding your back and inhale as you back bend one last time here. Good, release the bind. Bring the left hand down and the right arm up. And tuck the back toes and lift the back knee up. Good, look up at your hands. That's in the air. Very nice. And let's set it down. Let's get back into our hero pose on our knees. Basically sit on your heels. And from here, let's round our back. And then arch our back by sliding our hands up our thighs, chest proud, looking up. Deep inhale here. And exhale, round your back, slide your hands forward over your knees, head down round the back inhale as you arch your back do a little back bend as you slide your hands up your thighs looking up maybe even looking backwards behind you and exhale as you round your back slide your hands forward last time here slide your hands up your thighs as you arch your back good Put the arms up. And I want you to keep the rib cage down. Put the arms up and try to put the arms backwards and forward. Emphasize on putting your hands backwards without letting the ribs flare out too much. So rib cage down, but the hands go backwards and forwards. Just pulsate like this. about 10 times good now interlace your fingers and make it like as if you're holding a gun and put your arms overhead and just go side to side for a nice side stretch breathe we're just warming up the spine getting everything moving and loosened and now i want you to move your hands in a clockwise direction just pick a circular direction and also be mindful of which way is the spine moving in relation to the arms so when my hands are backwards my chest is forward when my hands are forward my back is rounded 
When my hands are to the left, my torso's to the right. See how much you can emphasize all that rotation. Now switch directions. And always remember that your head, your neck specifically, is called your cervical spine. So the reason I'm saying that is because your neck is also a part of your back. It's part of your spine. So get that involved as well. Good. Let's set everything down. Now let's do eagle arms in the opposite direction. So this time, right arm under the left and then use your right hand to grab the back of your forearm and if this is impossible by the way you could just grab your thumb but try to grab the back if you can good and now come upright and you're going to set up in a lunge with the left foot forward drive that left knee forward try to make sure that your front foot is forward enough so that your front knee is over your ankle from here you're going to do a forward bend just bringing the coming down rounding your back and then a back bend here looking up maybe looking backwards as the arms come up exhale forward bend inhale back bend arching our back looking up looking backwards arms coming up and forward bend exhale inhale as you arch your back and good release that and let's put the right hand down and left arm up right tuck the back toes and raise the back knee up Good. Look up at your hand. Good. Set it down. Set the back knee down. Set the hands down. Go into your tabletop position on hands and knees. And let's get into our first downward dog. <sighs> Tuck the back toes. Raise the knees up. And just hang out here. In this position, drive the palms up. You could pedal the feet. You can swivel the feet. So you go on different parts of your, different sides of the blades of your feet. But try to stick the butt up, your seat bones up to the sky. Try to bring your chest toward your thighs. Push through the shoulders and drive the heels down. Good. Now that we're in this position, raise the left leg up and down. So I want you to do 10 of these where you just pulsate your left leg up and down. Try to drive it up higher each time. You don't have to go down all the way down. Just try to use this as a dynamic stretch. three two and one good now from here you're gonna bring the foot forward replacing the left hand good now from here let's raise our arms up so come up right good and we're gonna do ten split squats split squat is basically you're in this lunge position and you're gonna bend the left knee forward and straighten it forward and straighten it forward and straighten five more basically the back foot isn't doing too much the back leg isn't doing too much it's all about the front leg doing all the work and if this is too hard make your stance shorter the further apart your front and back foot are, the harder it is. <sighs> Last one. Good. Now from here, I want you to bring the right foot 
forward and up in front of you. Bring that knee up as high as it'll go and then step it back. One more time. And back. Last one. Bring that knee up. Ooh, ooh, my balance. And back. Good. Now, put your hands behind you. Clasp your fingers behind you. Bring your shoulders back. And then from here, you're going to forward bend down overhead the best you can as your hands go over your shoulders. Very nice. Hold it here. Breathe for three, two, one. And then you're going to bring the back knee down and then release that and put your foot your back foot to the side a little bit so your back foot should be on the left side of your mat and then put your left hand wrap it around on the outside of your left leg and put your left hand on top of your left foot and then grab your right heel with your right hand and bring the head down toward the mat this is a nice little forward bend a little bind action just to get the body moving in a way into a position it's not used to breathe good okay release Step back to plank. All right, now that we are in plank, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your abs, push through the shoulders, and I want you to do a chaturanga, a little vinyasa. And what we do is lean the shoulders forward, 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 over the fingers, and then take five seconds to lower it down all the way. Three, Two, one, down all the way. Upward facing dog. Simply straighten the arms and only the tops of your ankles, tops of your feet are touching the ground right now. As you look up and arch your back and then downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, raise your hips up. Good. Now, other side. Raise your right leg up and down up and down pulsate like this 10 times make it dynamic you can make it a greater range each time also see if you could drive that left heel down to the ground four three two and one bring that right knee in and forward step it forward to replace the right hand excellent raise the arms up for this lunge position and let's do 10 split squats right here bending that front knee and straightening it bending it and straightening it relax the shoulders by the way if your arms are up like this remember to relax them three more come on you got this remember next time if it's too hard Shorten your stance. Good. Now from here, we're going to bring our left foot and knee up all the way and drive that left knee all the way up. And then back into the lunge. Balance best you can. Do it again. Keep that knee up for a moment and back into your lunge. 
One more time, last one here. Keep that knee up. Good, and step it back. Excellent. Now, clasp your hands behind you, shoulders backwards, chest up. Before you do a little overhead forward fold. Very nice. Try to drive that arms overhead. Bring the back foot down now. Put the back foot to the side. Release the hands. Put the right hand outside your right foot or on top of your right foot as you reach your left heel with your left hand and grab it and do a nice forward bend down breathe good now release that and let's go into plank position and vinyasa here meaning bring the hands forward forward i mean the shoulders forward forward ahead of the ahead of the fingers and then lower down for five four three two one upward facing dog straighten the arms only the tops of the feet are touching as you look up and arch your back and exhale around your back i mean downward facing dog <sighs> excellent now we're gonna do something really hardcore we're gonna either put our um hands put our feet forward i mean or hands backwards and we're gonna do 10 pike push-ups you don't have to do full range if you haven't done this before it's really hard but just do the best you can basically keep your heels up so you're on your toes and then send the shoulders forward and down i'm going until my nose touches the floor but you don't have to go that far just even if you go a quarter way down or even a tenth of the way down, it's fine. <sighs> Breathe. <sighs> I'm doing ten. If I can, you can too. <sighs> I'm going part way now because I'm tired and this is much harder when you're talking two more good child's pose feet together knees apart sit on your heels reach forward and put your forehead to the mat. Remember, you could always go in this position anytime any yoga class is getting a little too intense for you. Okay, now let's get back on our hands and knees. We're going to go into downward facing dog and raise the left leg up and this time I want you to bend the back knee, the, the knee that's up in the air, bend it and bring the right foot to the right. And I want you to move your knee in a circle as wide as you can, like a dog pissing on a fire hydrant. That's what they call this the fire hydrant sometimes. And from here, raise that knee up, 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 up to the side and then bring it forward and bring the foot outside the left hand. Good. Bring it back into the three-legged downward facing dog. 
put the bend the knee and bring the right I mean the left foot to the right and then again keep the knee up as you bring your bring it forward and step it outside your left hand one more time here raise it up open up that hip and then keep that left knee up as you plant your left foot outside to the left of your left hand excellent now bring that back knee down and up back knee down and up back knee down and up now we're gonna do an awesome twist you're gonna bring your left hand up looking up at your hand make sure try to get that left hand to go behind you and then bring the hand down and through behind and through your right hand so it's like that's a forward bend and then bring the left hand up and that's a back bend forward bend thread it through behind to the right side of the mat and up good set it down <sighs> set your back knee down and from here we're gonna kick the back foot up grab the back foot with our left hand good and now final thing here forward bend bring your hand your head sorry down to your left foot and back bend do a backward bend where you arch your whole back as you look up and backwards and the shoulders open up forward bend rounding your back bringing that head toward your left foot and then arching your back putting making your torso away from your from your foot and then down and then up good release the foot we we'll keep it up and lower it down very slowly nice excellent now put the knee back your foot back into this tabletop position other side last side here downward facing dog and I want you to raise the right foot up bend the right knee and make your left sorry make your right foot go to the left and now explore this area raise that knee in a circle do it in both directions explore this range of movement good now raise the right knee up keep it up as you step the right foot forward outside the right hand bring it back up flip it make that knee bent and then raise that knee up all the way as you step it down with control so you're developing a lot of control in this time one more time raise that knee up as you step it down excellent from here bring the back knee down and up back knee down and up one more time last time back knee down and up raise the right arm up for a nice twisted back bend and then bring it down and to the left behind your left arm rounding down and up looking up at your hands back bending and down threading it through to the left side and back up good set the back knee down and kick that back foot up 
grab it grab whatever you can there and again forward bend bring there your head down to the foot and then back bend forward bend and back bend oh. forward and back try to articulate your spine completely including your upper back lower back your neck looking backwards and forward bend all right come to neutral release the hand keep the foot up and then lower it down slowly excellent step the foot back <sighs> Come forward on your mat, cross your feet, sit backwards, and lay on your back. Congratulations, you have made it to the final boss level. Actually, you completed the boss. This is a bonus round. All right, so I want you to bring the right foot over your left knee, your left thigh, for a nice glute stretch. Grab the back of your left thigh, point both ankles and toes up. You can rest the head down if you like. If you wanna intensify the stretch, you can grab the shin instead of the back of the thigh. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. That was a pretty intense class. And you have to thank yourself for doing so. It's great that you got up. You did this all the way through the end. Let's switch sides. Grab that back thigh, the back of your thigh, pull it in. <sighs> up to you if you want to rest your head down or up. You can rotate your ankles in a circle or keep them up. <sighs> Always option to grab the shin to intensify it a bit more. Very nice. Okay, release that. Bring both knees into your chest. Keep your knees up into your chest like this as you put your arms out to the side. And then rotate, uh, twist your knees to the right as you look over the left side and put your right hand over your left thigh. Deep breath here, expanding the rib cage as you inhale. Nice little breeze for me. Much needed. And those pike push-ups are killer, huh? It just sneaks up on you, this yoga. All right, switch sides. Looking over your right, putting your left hand over your right thigh to help you twist. Relax the right shoulder down to the floor. Deep breath. Each inhale expands the rib cage. Very nice. Come back to center. And from here, Traditionally, what you would do here is you would lay down, lay flat, all your arms and legs, and just relax. You can grab the back of your head and pull your crown of your head backwards to even lengthen your neck even more as you relax in this position. And traditionally in yoga, this is 
why people do yoga so that they can meditate afterwards in this meditative state of mind that it puts them in after any exercise and you could stay here but I'm gonna get up and face the camera and I'm gonna thank all of you for watching and following along and coming in all the way until the end I hope you enjoyed that and again if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so now and give me a thumbs up if you like this video please leave a comment right now and let me know what you thought of it and last but not least if you like this follow along video i have flexibility programs that are 30 minute videos like this for your hips hamstrings and shoulders that are extremely efficient at increasing your flexibility in the shortest amount of time and I have links to those in the description of every YouTube video that I have and your support through those programs helps keep me afloat to keep making these videos and that's all I gotta say leave a comment let me know what you thought and thanks again thank you for watching and I will see you in the next upload Namaste. Ah, I just said namaste for the hell of it. I don't usually say namaste. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>